this some key stuff in here. Do you hear this? Okay. He said, where was he born? In Bethlehem. Now, there's different ways you can say Bethlehem. You know that, right? So what other way can you say Bethlehem? Bethlehem. How about Bethlehem? Yeah. So in some historical writings, you see Bethlehem spelled Bethlehem. Yeah. B-E-Y. You see that. What else is in here? Yuda, let's go to Yuda. The J is silent, right? And it becomes a Y. Yuda. What are the two last letters on Yuda? No, two last letters. Aha. Huda. Huda. Breath. Now here we go. In whose house? Yeah. Also, in your Quran, uh, the prophet talks about David's cave. Have y'all read that? In David's cave? Do your research on David's cave. You find that extremely fascinating. Where was it? Who was in it? How massive was it? And in Istanbul, and we were talking about this last night, in Istanbul they have uh, the Grand Bazaar, they call it. It's a cave. And in the city of Istanbul, and you can come down the street, you see this big opening. You would not know it was a cave. It is so deep. They have architectural engineer that has chiseled that cave. And anything you want is in that cave. Shops, gold, Turkish baths, food. And you can go so deep in that cave, you wouldn't even know. It, it is the first concept of a mall. And it's a cave. Now, when you get into the history of David's cave, you will find the similarities of how many of us during those times sought refuge in a cave. Something like the cave that Muhammad hid from those people that were pursuing him, if you read the story of the prophet Muhammad. And when they was trying to catch him, they said he must be in that cave. But what stopped him from going in that cave? The spider's web. The spider had weaved the web over the mouth of that cave he was in. They said, no, he can't be in there. The web is over that cave, which is why to this day, they say that a spider is a symbol of what? Good luck. Now, let's go back to 25. Where was he born? So it's saying in Bethlehem of Judah in the house of David. Let's go with the house of David. So if he was born in the house of David, what would his last name be? What would Jesus' last name be? Who said that? She's right again. <laughs> David. Was the house of David full of wealth? He was wealthy. So dispel this myth that, oh, Jesus was poor. He was born in the manger. And to be religious, you got to be poor. You could be religious and rich. But if my wife was having the baby and we was out and about, I'm going to go to the nearest place that she can deliver. If it's in a manger, hey, let's get out. Can't have, can't have my, my baby out here in the sand. So Jesus was rich. Was Mary's last name David? Did Mary come out of the house of David? Who said she did? Who said? Who did say who that was? You said that? Is she right? Who said right? <laughs> All right. My name is Eric Russell 
ill. That's the name I'm taking. I married my wife, who was Mary Brown Bay. When I married my wife as Mary Brown Bay, all of my children became what? Russell Ill. I gave him my name. Now, some places in the matriarchal society, especially in Mexico, they take the mother's name too. So their name is long. It's Yasmin Brown Bay Russell Ill. Jesus, father and mother, one of them, or both of them, name had to be David. Now, both of them name was David. That sounds like incest to me. Do your homework on that. The next time you do your homework, tell your grand sheik who name was David. Who name was David? Now, you say, where was he born? Why is that so significant where he was born? These is only two questions of where he was born or the birth is in your questionnaire. What's the other question of where he was born? What's that, Ma? Aha. Uh -huh. There's only two questions you're going to see in the questionnaire of where somebody, why is it so significant where these people were born? Why? According to your Quran. According to all your, why is that? Why? What significance? How can you connect the dots about where he was born? What difference does it make? What is the connection? Here, here's, 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 here's the thing. This is, this is my drawing now, okay? 2019. Many of our people think that Jesus was a European. A lot of them do. Now, we know a European, the way they give us the image of Jesus today, you would surmise that the way he looked is where most of the people look that look like him is from where? Europe. But, <laughs> but when you say Bethlehem, No, ain't nobody, and at that time, no. So what that does, it, it dispels the lie. It strikes it out. Well, our soul reminds us of different things. That's why we're all here, because we are seeking the truth. We are seeking the truth, uncut, just the real truth. Because we, as, as they say in the movie Malcolm X, many of us have been bamboozled. You know, been uh, been had. They say, what else? Been been had. Been just tricked with the information. It's it's not true. Yes. Sir. This series and many others can only be found exclusively on Amexum. Quickly sign up with our three-step process to get started. The link to access your trial is in the description below. We'll see you in the next chapter. Peace and love.